when linking space gas with Revit structure, there are two alternative methods that can be used. The first involves transferring your model via a SimSteel or IFC file, as shown in the previous video. The second method involves configuring Revit structure so that it can read and write space gas jobs directly. It is the second method that is the focus of this video. First we must configure Revit structure by running the Revit space gas link program from the space gas program folder. It will search for the space gas and Revit structure programs and if successful the relevant field will be colored green. If either program cannot be found its field will be colored red and you must click the browse button next to the red field and then do the search manually. When both fields are green we can click the OK button to add some space gas items to the Revit structure menus. Note that this only needs to be done once. Now when we run Revit structure an add-ins menu exists and if we click its external tools option we can see the two items that allow us to link to space gas. Let's transfer the Revit model you see on the screen to space gas. We need to choose the job name to export to, and then set the various options that control how much of the model is exported, how the model is adjusted to allow for the connection of members that do not quite meet in the Revit model, and whether or not the loads should be included. Tolerances can be set to allow for loads that do not sit exactly on a member or plate. Rigid links and section justifications in the Revit structure model can be converted to member offsets and we can control whether or not the brace members are treated as tension-only members in space gas. A custom section map file can be used for sections that have to be renamed to the space gas naming convention. However, this is not normally required. Any warnings or errors can be optionally added to a log file. If the model was previously imported from space gas, the space gas numbering sequence can be retained by taking the add space gas member numbers option and we can specify if space gas is to be launched upon completion of the export. Finally, we can specify the units to which the model will be converted in space gas. We can then click the export button. Let's now switch to space gas. Open the job just created, and then view it in the space gas renderer. You can see that it appears as it did in Revit structure, excluding, of course, the non-structural elements. Now let's assume that while in space gas, we analyze the model and perform a steel design, which may change some of the section properties. We can simulate this by manually changing the sizes of some of the columns. To export the changes back into Revit structure, we must save the job, and then switch to Revit structure once again. Note that at this stage, any sections being imported from space gas that have not already been loaded into Revit structure need to be loaded into a family so that they appear in the project browser. We can then select the Update Model from Space Gas item, specify the space gas job name to import from, Set various options similar to the export options, and then click the import button to perform the update. The Revit structure model has now been updated to reflect the section property changes made in Space Gas. Note that if we had started with a model in Space Gas and wanted to transfer the entire model into Revit structure, we would have had to use a SimSteel or IFC file transfer instead as demonstrated in the previous video.